Hi students, I am Prakash, Chartered Accountant and Acting as Academic Advisor in Masterminds from the past 20 years. Your law and BCR exam got completed. Don't discuss anything about that exam. It's not at all wise to discuss with your friends about the answers of each question. Who knows who is correct? So throw away the question paper and start focusing on paper 3. Did any of you not written your law and BCR exam well? Yeah, this is meant for you. First of all, stop feeling bad and cursing yourself. Since you cannot change the past, what is the use of feeling bad for that? Move on and prepare well for paper 3. So don't spoil the subsequent exams my dear students. Now let us see what to revise in these 1.5 days. First of all, in all the subjects that is Maths, Stat and Reasoning, revise the supplementary material, MTPs and errata provided by the Masterminds management. So, we have already provided you with fast track material. So, try to revise the formulas in maths, stat, and reasoning for two times. That means you thoroughly revise the fast track material at least twice. Remember, in this particular subject, ICAI sources play a very important role. That is, MCQs given in the study material, MTPs, past exam papers, they are very important. While revising, whenever you find that that particular question is taken from ICA sources, try to pay more attention. So, as you already know, in our masterminds material, all such MCQs are already given in the material. First, you finish revision of reasoning. It's most scoring area among all the three subjects. First, finish revision of blood relations, directions and test and seating arrangements. They are very important. After that, you finish revision of series coding and decoding odd men out. Remember, each and every MCQ, each and every chapter in reasoning subject are very important. And one more thing, you must aim to score at least 18 marks out of 20. If you are not strong in mathematics and statistics, then you must revise all the MCQs in reasoning at least twice. After reasoning, you start the revision of statistics. First, finish revision of theory and MCQs on theory in all the chapters. After that, I will tell you few chapters which are very, very important. One is measures of central tendency 1 and 2. Next one is measures of dispersion. Next one is statistical description of data part 1 and part 2. Even if you prepare to this extent, that means theory in all the chapters plus these 3 or 4 chapters you can comfortably attempt more than 25 marks in the public exam out of 40 in statistics. Now, coming to index numbers, correlation and regression, don't worry. So, if you have any issues with maths or stat, then at least refer the MCQs with references. Now, coming to random variables, probability and theoretical distributions. If you are strong in maths and stat, then you can refer entire chapter Otherwise, it is sufficient to refer to the MCQs with ICA sources. If you have any challenges with maths or stat, you can leave random variables chapter completely. Now, coming to mathematics. So, coming to the chapters, time value of money, equations, sequence and series, ratios and proportions, sets, theory of indices and sets. Very, very, very important chapters. You prepare 100% in these chapters. Remember, just by preparing these 4 or 5 chapters, you can attempt 25 marks out of 40 in the public exams. That's why, don't leave even a single MCQ in these chapters. Sir, what about permutations, combinations, derivatives and integrations? If you are strong in maths and statistics, prepare them 100%. If you are not strong in maths or statistics, then at least refer to MCQs with ICA references. That is study material, MTPs, past examination papers. Now coming to the remaining chapters. Yes, it is highly enough to refer to the MCQs with ICA references. Now let me tell you some important tips which every student has to follow while writing paper 3 exam. Never panic. Even if you are not strong in maths or stat or both, don't panic at all. I will tell you a very simple equation of 15 plus 15 plus 15. So, in mathematics, I told you to prepare few chapters to the extent of 100%. That is, time value of money, 
equations, sequence and series, ratio proportions, sets, theory of indices and sets. You prepare these chapters and you can comfortably attempt more than 25 marks in the public exam out of 40. Is it not enough? Out of that 25, can't you score at least 15 marks? Is it not easy to score at least 15 marks? Now coming to statistics. I told you to prepare all the theory questions in the, all the chapters. In addition to that, I wanted you to be thorough with the, sub, the chapters of measures of settled tendency 1 and 2, measures of dispersion, statistical description of data 1 and 2. So just be preparing these areas, you can comfortably attempt more than 25 marks. Now coming to the reasoning. So you need to attempt 20 marks. Can't you score at least 15? Because it's very easy to score 18 in reasoning. I'm expecting you to prepare only 15, to score only 15. So without reading an MCQ at least for two times, never start attempting. Remember, CA Institute wants to identify the best option. They are not saying that identify the correct option. No, what they are asking is best option. So in this particular exam, time management is very important. You cannot spend more than one minute on a particular question. If a particular question is taking more than one minute, immediately skip it and go to the next question. Fast 40 rule is very, very important. In the, in the first 30 to 40 minutes itself, try to answer 40 easy questions in the entire question paper. So then your confidence levels will get improved. As a result, you can answer the remaining questions also very well. Sir, is it okay even if, if I attempt 60 to 70 marks? Absolutely okay. So don't compare with that of others. If you are not confident of a particular MCQ, never answer it because negative marking is there. If you are not strong in mathematics or statistics or both, then please confine to 60, 70 marks. That's more than enough. Don't spoil your paper. So you must written your OMR sheet along with the question paper. Of course, both needs to be given separately. Don't tie them. So it's mandatory to check everything before returning your OMR sheet. Now let me answer some frequently asked questions. Sir, is it okay to first mark the answers in the question paper and in the last 5 to 10 minutes mark the answers in the OMR sheet? It's highly dangerous. Never do that. So if the squad or invigilator identifies it, it will be considered as a malpractice. Read the question, identify the answer and immediately mark the same in the OMR sheet. Now, in which order students shall write the MCQs? Remember, the questions will be jumbled. That means, maths start reasoning. So, the MCQs of all these subjects will not be provided one after another. They will be jumbled. So, first start reading the paper from question number 21. Up to question number 20, there can be some twist. So, better start attempting question number 1 to 20 at the end. So, first start attempting from question number 21. So, first of all, identify the MCQs from reasoning as well as start theory in the entire question paper. First, try to answer them immediately. I am confident that in just a matter of 30 to 40 minutes, you can answer all those questions. That means, you have finished attempting up to 40 marks. Similarly, identify all simple, simple MCQs in mathematics. Try to finish them immediately. Once you are able to attempt 50 questions in the entire question paper, your confidence levels will increase. Then you think of the remaining MCQs. If you feel maths are start to be tough, then confine to 70 or 80 marks. Don't attempt more than that. Even if you are able to attempt 85, that's fine. Sir, how to handle a tough question paper? First, you be cool. Don't panic. So, institute wants you to qualify. So, even if you attempt the MCQs from the chapters, which I have told you to prepare to the extent of 100%, you can qualify. If you are confused between two options, through elimination process, identify the best option. So, if you find any mistake in the question paper, try to identify the best option. Remember, institute wants to identify the best option but not correct option. The best option need not be correct. And after completion of exams, try to send a mail to the CA institute. They will do the needful. So, don't expect all these things from your faculty to teach. I have made this video with my 20 years of experience and research. 
as an academic advisor of masterminds i am able to do this to do the passion and love towards students all the best my dear students by the way here are the few details about masterminds masterminds is a premier institution offering coaching from inter mec cec to cscma final with an annual admissions of nearly 20000 here are a few details for the aspirants of bba or mba or law courses we also offer an innovative academic program called mec cec pro here are the details so don't forget to install our app for a lot of useful content happy to share that students from this many states are studying with us thanks to our alumni for their wonderful support here are the details of our online presence and here are the details of our physical presence you can directly interact with any of the directors of masterminds here are their contact details if you find this video to be useful like it share it and subscribe to this channel share your opinions or suggestions or improvements on this video in the comment section whenever you want to pay any fee in masterminds then directly go to the cash counter pay the fee so collect the receipt and check whether the receipt is correctly given or not if you find any abnormalities or mistakes in the receipt then so ask the cashier to take back that receipt and give you the correct receipt never pay cash to any of the employees of masterminds except the cashier remember masterminds management is responsible only for the money which is being paid in the cash counter and a valid receipt is obtained for them for any reason if you pay any amount to any of the employees of the masterminds other than cashier then we are not responsible thank you all the best